brother, we slamming together, we slams forever. That me forever and ever and ever. I cannot speak on the shit I did never. What is the matter? I spin any weather. So the gang, you know we doing it better. I go wherever I'm torn, but better. She in my phone, but I know it's a setup. Go get your better. I got it tucked up up under the sweater. I let it go if I'm feeling the pressure. They only run up on you if you let them. I'm on their nest and I let them catch up. I do not cheat on my girl like me. It's Big EBK. We ain't giving no daps. And in today's video, we will be taking a look at some New York drill conspiracies. In New York drill, there are many holes and a lot of the stories told, so I will be trying to fill in some of the holes. The first conspiracy theory is going to be involving a Y Sugar Hill Demon block work, also known as cop work. Why do people call him cop work? In late November of 2021, Shaw E. K. and O. Y. rapper Sugar Hill Keem went on the internet calling Blockwork a snitch. Why are they calling him a snitch? Blockwork and Sugar Hill Keem were both in a taxi together and got pulled over by the police. Here's a clip of Blockwork speaking on the situation. Let's break that down, man. So why do people think you snitch and then just get into, you know, I ain't like gonna lie. Real it was more say a money situation, bro. Yeah. Like I was in a situation with my man's where he felt like he could try to King. quote unquote yeah extort okay. me. You feel me? Sugar so, Hill King. Yeah. Who's locked up currently, right? So if me, me as a yeah. man, you feel me? My pride, hell no, I denied that. You feel me? And basically, we went on to beef about you know petty bills on the internet the next day and put out put out Lockworks or right. But we got locked up, came home, and we shot move look the shot that we the that we got out. Yeah. If I snitched on you and you knew that and we just came home and I just paid half your bill to come home and we all good, we about to fight this case, to, we about to, like, feel me? You know what's in set? I snitched on you. Yeah. We came home and shot a music video together. Yeah. If you, if I told on you, it was not, like, so the niggas start acting weird, went on the internet, Shai K went on the internet, signed a gasset, and now it was more like two, because he was on more side, his side, and this yeah. is my hood. So you're doing some weird shit. So it's more like them together against me. So now I'm looking at it as like, as like all right, niggas, some they don't even really care about me. Yeah. So I just separated myself and said, F you feel me? I'm going to just prove to niggas, what's up? Yeah. Hit my lawyer and shit. Just put out the information I shit on the internet, bro. Now, Body cam footage. Yeah. Statements from the niggas. They ain't it. Like, he yeah. told on me. But I don't want to gas it. I'm not a bad nigga. I don't want to make the look like that. You an artist. Go chase your career. You a fuck. The other day, you was my man. I had love for you, nigga. You feel me? But I don't want to make your career. You feel me? I ain't trying to. You told on me, though, gang. After the situation, Sugar Hill Keem and Shaw E.K. would continue to drill the block work as a rat narrative into the heads of fans causing block work's name and reputation to be tarnished, even though he posted proof that he didn't snitch. The next conspiracy that we are going to take a look at is involving a channel favorite Zeb Zuto. For those of you who don't know, Zeb is an artist that is featured on this channel in over 70 plus videos. With that being said, people in the comments section of my videos have been suggesting that I, EBK Tino, was Zeb Zuto due to him being featured in so many videos. With that being said, once the channel reaches 100,000 subscribers, the man behind the account will be revealed, so stay tuned and it may or may not be Zeb. This next conspiracy is going to be on a Y rapper Sugar Hill Keem. It is alleged Keem got shot in the head. Rival gang members have dissed him for getting shot in the head in multiple songs, but he says all of it is cap. I'll play a clip with him talking in the interview now so y'all can see how he sounds. So. I know it's early to ask you like what your plan is for yourself, right? But where do you see yourself by the end of this year? I'm gonna see myself in the mansion, bro, you feel me? In the mansion, bro, trying to get my family out the hood. You know what I'm saying? You feel mm -hmm. me? Get my niggas out the hood too. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be one of them niggas. You go see me. You go see me on on the stage, you feel me? Right. All that. You go see me on stage, all that. Does he sound like he got shot? Let me know in the comments below. This next topic is on another artist from Sugar Hill, that artist being D.D. Osama. D.D. is one of the biggest drill rappers, if not the biggest right now out of Harlem. But his rise to fame came with him losing his younger brother, Nati Osama, on July 9th, 2022, 
Nadi Osama was at the train station with his mans. Nadi spotted an op, so he approached him with a broom and attempted to push the opposition into the train tracks. The opposition got the upper hand on Nodi Osama and was able to get close enough to Nodi to stab him to death. Nadi died in the train station. After the death of Nadi Osama, his brother DD began to get loads of attention and get millions of views on his songs that was out before the passing of his brother. Many people say that DD sacrificed his brother to become more successful in the industry. About four months after Nadi passed another huge rapper, from Sugar Hill passed that rapper being E. Baby. Who was E. Baby? E. Baby was a drill rapper from Sugar Hill Harlem who put on for Bronx and Harlem Drill. He also helps form the OYOGs. On November 3rd, 2022, Edith Baby took his life. He was only 17 years old. He had just got out of a bad deal that he signed when he first started rapping. It is alleged that he was set up by his girlfriend. After the passing of another person very close to DD people, really started to suggest that D was sacrificing any and everybody that was close to him to get to the top. It was like, I didn't know of really of him until he passed away and then his song started to get more attraction. And like, I, like, I ain't gonna lie, like the way, the way that side, like people just started dying and people started going up. I don't know, I don't know if somebody came and gave him a paper, yo, give two of your friends up and I got you. I don't, I don't know the backstory, but mm. like it was, it was really, it was really weird. Like you know, a lot of people passed away from that area, and then like it blew them up at the same time. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't. And act I feel like, like also because the death was tragic. Yeah. It was a tragic death. It was everywhere. Everyone seen it, and then they and did the kid beat it. Yeah, they capitalized off the situation and made a, uh, I think, letter to Nadi or something like that. Right. Well, right after he passed away, which was smart. Right. And you feel me, it blew them up. Cause well, that's it for today's video. And also, if you have any theories that you want featured in part two commented, let me know in the comments down below. If you like the style of content, make sure y'all like comment and subscribe Oh, and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post EBK out.